that booty though. <clears throat> what up? It's the incredibly handsome or ugly that's Sean Wiley here, and today, oh, well, doing a brand new let's play. Why? Because y'all just love them so much. And today we're doing a let's play on the probably some call it one of the greatest games ever made. Resident Evil 4, or 4 Resident Evil, as this game went to imply it. So, I already beat this game, okay? And I am currently beating it again. So I'm just gonna do the bare bones. As in, play the game on normal mode, not professional. Because I'm not getting my butt hands to me today. So I'm gonna play it again. I actually, oh, I'm currently playing the game my own time, because I actually kind of like... Because I actually enjoy playing it. Oh, so of course, we also get... Yeah, as you can see, I did play it. So, I'm just going to pick the special outfit, simply because I can. 1898. Never forget. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arkley Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment. Conducted by the International Pharmaceutical Enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City. It hit the peaceful little town, which a devastating blow crippled its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair going public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business to trade one crowd. Soon its stock prices crashed. And for all intents and purposes, the umbrella was finished. Okay. So that's pretty much giving backstory on the games I haven't played, by the way. Six years have since that horrendous incident. What the? I received special treatment from the secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Why am I the one trying to get the short end of this thing? You are really the one who can't ask. You are in love with an old cowboy. Yes, that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing door. Quiet. Oh, about yourself. I'm sure you boys can just tag along so we can sing Kumbaya not together at some Boy Scout bonfire. <laughs> then again, maybe you did. Sounds more fun. Oh, you're crazy. It's a direct door and there's nothing she can say. Okay, so Leon pretty much said everything I wanted to say. And this is where we start our game. So pretty much Leon kind of said everything I wanted to say. So basically what you saw there was pretty much, you know, some backstory from Resident Evil 2. Or Resident Evil 3, I think. Because, remember, I haven't played those games. Please keep this in mind. I actually want to make one thing abundantly clear before I continue this Let's Play. I am not a fan of Resident Evil at all. I picked up 4 simply because I had it from a GameCube a while, but I sadly only had one disc. The first one. So, I couldn't be finish it. So, I got the PS4 version, and I love it. It's a really fun game. And... I don't know, I might, might, play the other ones. Maybe. There is a, city, there is a percent I might do it, okay? But Resident Evil 4 is my personal favorite so far. And, it's not really scary. I already said during my Star Wars, during my Star Wars, that Sean plays, I mean D-Bro plays, that I'm not too big on horror games. And, well, this is really a horror game, but technically is. Uh, 
excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Que carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Ha! Sorry, we're bothered. Uh, Leon, you better run, man! Okay! I'm sorry, I have to give a play-by-play -play on pretty much how you play the game. For those who don't know. Of course, you already know how to move. You use L2 to aim, R2, well, have I said to shoot. And this game is a bit tricky. Very tricky. Not because of his control code. Sorry. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. Yeah, I had no choice but to neutralize. There's still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Okay. Uh, there. Also, I might, as, I might as well just throw this out there. But am I the only one that looks at Leon and, and get reminded of Dante from Don't Make a Cry? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But hey, Leon's is the bad. He's just bad. Okay. This dude got some serious balls when he's going to a freaking village. Oh crap! Ugh. Yeah, I'm not too good. Also, I also want to throw this warning out there. I am not good at resident people. But I still prefer it as a fun game to play. And I would love to play one artist who will keep on playing this game. But I can't, because YouTube ain't playing games today. They don't want me to, they want me to horrify it. Because the game does not have, has next to no music. And I say next, because what little music you hear, is just, just the sounds of something that just makes me uncomfortable, okay? So honestly, I actually enjoy this game. It's pretty fun. And I beat the game, and I died a lot. Because there are plenty of places that gave me up. Say it. Yes, as you can see, beat the game already. Boom. And I also am doing Ada's separate path. I mean, separate ways, excuse me. Oops. Yeah. So, I beat this game before. So, therefore, this Let's Play is not blind. I know what to do. But I will mess up in some spots. I throw that up there too. So you're wondering, Ashana, why are you killing? Oh, save this! Go! Go! Be free, little dog! Oh, I forgot to mention, keep your eyes open at all times. I learned that the hard way. Like here. I did, I was too dumb to notice these things on the trees. And as a result, I got bodied in a second. Ugh. But there's, I still have problems with this game. Like, for example, the controls. Oh my freaking goodness. Look, the controls are not bad. They're just very gimmicky. Like, I'm sorry. I still classify... Screw this. I still classify this as a friggin', um... Uh, friggin' third-person shooter. So, and there's still tank controls. Heh. <laughs> Link. So, you go in the first direction, you go in the direction you ever want with this circle, I mean, in the, with the first direction of the analog stick, move left and right to turn where you want to go. Yeah, yeah, we all know, we're all familiar with tank controls, but for those who are not familiar with it, I can't explain it to you. And I know I'm really stupid for just spoon feeding crap to y'all, but... I'm just trying to get all this information out like a robot, that way, the rest of my commentary will be fun, and also, with me raging out any chance I get, because that's really fun for everybody. And you're wondering, Dashaun, why are you using a puny knife? Oh, this game is still classified as whore, too, even though I don't. So, if you run out of ammo, you're doomed. 
So you have to preserve ammo in any way you can. And the best way to do that is when you're up close to your enemies, use knife. Use your knife. Sure, it's not really practical, and it's not really convenient, and it's a bit of a pain in the butt to use. But hey, it's rare, it's better to do that than have to waste ammo. Waste ammo. And this is a really influential game, and even the boss battles are actually kind of fun. But this part, oh, not, I had so many problems here. Not good! Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing bag. Hope you find it useful. Oh, take a look at it. Thanks. Yeah, thank you for interrupting my game! Thank you for interrupting my game! Uh, but anyways... So pretty much, this part sucks. So there, they pretty much killed the Pope. They killed the Pope. -po. They pretty much say, F the police! Oh, the police! Anyways, these guys have that NWA mentality to say fuck the police. So, I guess you gotta kill them, because we are the police. We are the law. I am the law. But this part's difficult. But me personally, there are... Now. Now. Now, all you got... Now, if you want my advice... Don't go into that one house where you get the shotgun. Because once you do, you'll activate the doctor. Or that chainsaw guy. Because here's the part with that guy. He'll kill you in one hit. You don't want to activate that guy. So, if you want my advice, stay out here and just use your pistol. It's better to just use your pistol to kill off a bunch of guys who are, won't really do much damage to you. Then to kill off, then to find a guy who will kill you in one hit. Cause trust me. Cause these guys are not that hard to deal with. Just. Crap. Or, I actually got hand grenade here. So, let's try her out. Boom! It just need See right there? Boom. Done in a few seconds. So, all you gotta do is not activate the doctor by going in the building where you get the shotgun. You'll have it done within seconds. Alright, thank you, Hunnigan. You also look kind of pretty. Anyways, I know exactly what people are gonna say. Dashan, you're. Uh, Dashan, you tick man. Yeah, and the best part, you still get your shotgun. And a bunch of ammo to work with it, too. So, I say do it this way. It's much more practical, in my opinion. It's much easier. Because all you gotta do is just go for headshots and use that grenade. That is, if you actually get a grenade. So... I guess when you play the game for a bit of a time, you find tactics to make things- Oh, you'll find one here. You'll just find tactics to make things much easier for you. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is the building where you get your shotgun. Once again, you do not want to enter here. Because that guy, in my opinion, that, that chainsaw guy, I can't remember his name. If anyone can remind me his name in the comment section, please tell me. Uh, that doctor guy. With that bag over his head, he's probably Jay-Z in a mask because Jay-Z is so ugly that he needs to hide space from the world. Okay, I'm sorry, that's kind of evil at Jay-Z. Yep, and you get your shotgun. This is a pretty good weapon to start out with. It's really powerful, and it does help with groups of enemies. So, to a certain degree, it does help you in this pet. So, in that case, you would want to go in there, but just don't, please. It's like, never mind. I'm not even going to try making any angry video game nerd jokes. Yeah, yeah just don't do it, please. 
But anyways, back to, well, commentary. So pretty much, our objective here is to rescue Ashley. You know, the most common name ever. I have I have to have a friend named Ashley. Uh, multiple, to be exact. But I think I have about, bumped into about three girls who all, all their names are Ashley. Because I guess it's a common name. I guess the president's daughter re I guess the president really hates his daughter. And I honestly don't blame him. I hate Ashley. Well, mainly just because she sucks. And oh, I'll go here. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Oh, and then these. Oh, all right. We got one more. We got one more thing to do. But first, let's just do this. Kill these buggers, and then I think I'll call it an episode. Boom! So this part, oh, sorry about that from Zima, but silent, oh, and pro tip, I learned this the hard way too. Shoot down that first, shoot this, then collect it. I beg you, don't just shoot it, cause if you, cause if you just shoot it, it'll get dirty and it won't be much, it won't be worth much money. Trust me. It's, it's like, it's like trying to date that cash me outside girl. You don't do it. Okay, I know that's a bit evil here. Uh, all right. And I'm, and I am not trying to one hundred percent this game. I'm just kind of trying to do so I can get by. And I don't really particularly need the shotgun right now. The pistol, as a right here early on in the game, when you're having to, if you look, well, if you watch your steps and step with purpose, then you, and you're very sneaky too, and you preserve ammo really well, then you won't really have much purpose to use a shotgun here. Unless you happen to suck like I do and not really good at stealth. I guess I kind of got lucky there. Yeah. Yeah, I learned the hard way. Just be careful here. There! Oh! And of course, Beers, Beerstein. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't trust this game. So, be careful, step with purpose, and just be sneaky around this part. And I think I kill all the enemies here. So all there's left is just to get all the medallions. You don't have to do them, but you don't have to you don't have to shoot the medallions. Ah! But if you do shoot them, you get a reward. You get a free gun. So I say do it. Why? It's free. <laughs> 
guns? Who doesn't like free guns? I wish Watch Dogs 2 gave you free guns. Oh wait, it kind of does, but you kind of... I mean, like, actually just hand you a free gun like it. Here you go! Here you go! Here you go, for your trouble, because you have to deal with the annoying blonde girl, but it's still extremely attractive. Here you go, free gun! Just, I wish you could do that in a lot of games. But anyways, I'm just going to shoot all the medallions and call it a day. Alright. But I say get that blue paper first, because, boom, they all show up on your map. And you can shoot them all with ease. And I don't know what happened to shoot all 15, because I, well, never actually, well, done that. But I say there's one gun you might want to go wait and get. Well, the rifle. But from what I heard, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend the rifle. It's still a pretty useful gun. Oh, wait, it is. Actually, I recommend it fully, because it helps you get through stealth sections pretty easy. easily, I should say. Um, uh, yeah, so, so I'm really excited to do this, and I remember being this, being my first like, M-rated game I played. I played it over my last summer when I was in middle school, and transitioned to high school. I kind of just decided, alright, before I go, I was actually planning to sell this game because, well, I already said, I just assumed that it was a horror game because it's Resident Evil, and this game pretty much got a, a reputation for horror, but then I heard things about this not being the scariest game, those people were lying, because there are two segments that scare me. But not like scary like Piss Your Pants or like Exorcist, which I have not watched. I meant like just some of the cheap little jump scare for Capcom to say, to say, ha ha, F you sucker. And we want your money too. In this game, you can buy it on pretty much anything. You can buy it on the GameCube, PS2, PC, like the PC Master Race, um, PS4, which is the version I'm playing right now, and Xbox 360. Yeah, it's pretty much everywhere. That's how popular this game is. And that's how Capcom... And I think I'm done here for today. Or tonight. So, I'm done. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, Please like, comment, share, or subscribe if you enjoy it, because I will be doing more of this. And if I get too horrified, I'll cut off right now. I'm kidding. And and please beware of fa failing, because I'm not too good at this game. Uh, I love you all. Goodbye. <laughs>